wanted to shortly sort of read off what I wrote down regarding my dream last night. Um, I'm sitting with a group of ex-colleagues and explaining them um, the model, what I call them, that how we come to reality, how our current model of how we come to understanding things. And then I say that consciousness should be included included in our model of what I call knowledge acquisition because it is also changing things. Now it makes the model by excluding itself. And then I say, do you see where this leaves us? If it is not included in the model, and then I say that only the self can really know because knowing is also knowing itself. Um, we are not knowing the world. What we are knowing, if we were to include consciousness, is that we are knowing uh, the way we are constructing a model of the world. And it says more of ourselves than about the world. But at this point, we are not including the, ourselves in our own model of the world and saying, for instance, that this model that we are constructing of things is, is, is in, includes our own uh, biases and our own position. Um, then I say that so our goal should be self with a capital S because only the self can really know because the self with a capital S would be not locked into this contraption, if you wish, where we are really perceiving our what we are constructing regarding the world and thus in which we are heavily included in the picture. Um, now, true knowing would be thus that we would be knowing the way we are disturbing the world. Be, be, beyond that, we cannot know it in terms of the conscious. Um, and then I say that... Um, it's like the media. The media is reporting, is not reporting on things, but is creating the news. Uh, this is, and then I say, this is, so we are really not epistemologically totally trained yet. We're not conscious yet enough of the way that perceiving, constructing a, a, a model of what is, a, what is reality is that, that we are really heavily, heavily implicated in it. And I say that this is mankind's last hope. If not, we are creating a world, but experiencing it as out there, and thus we cannot take responsibility for it. That our only hope is now a superposition that via touching the shadow, we would then connect to the self. Superposition would be that we would not be coloring it in, interpreting it, uh, making choices in that, in this sense, and that this epistemologically, the self with the capital S would only be, would be the only point that could know really. We see this, for instance, in the whole scandal of the NSA, in which when you, it would, it's very similar to a man that is extremely jealous of a woman, when you start to pry and to really apply a kind of a paranoid, paranoid uh, voyeurism on this, your citizens, like a man that is extremely jealous of his wife, he will go on to create that reality. And so these expectations and these preemptive um, moves, what they are really doing is creating what they are expecting because we are excluding ourselves from the model of our reality, uh, the way we construct, re make sense of things, we are not able to really see this. So it's very important that we become totally trained mentally in our thinking and start to really understand that we need to think about our own thinking and that we need to be aware that what we are perceiving out there is really the way we are disturbing what is out there. It's not some uh, neutral project, uh, uh, objective 
looking, pri uh, observing citizens or the other or whatever it is. We are like the media. We are not reporting. We are creating what we are reporting. The media is, Im is heavily implicated in what is happening because that is like the narrative that is being sold and that is the way, and, and based on the way they are interpreting things, we need, it is, it is, it is um, at this point, it is extremely important that we start to learn how to think in these terms and to become more epistemologically toilet trained if we are to survive ourselves.